Hey, this is T's weight loss journey and more with the Pope family. I've changed my new name to uh, my YouTube name to uh, Poke Royalty. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm sorry. I wasn't. I've got a tan, like everywhere. I've got a tan, because I was red, see? I was red, okay. Woo, yeah, it's hot. Nutriburst and fight is what I'm taking. I'm out of everything else. I need some. Hopefully she's gonna bring me my stuff. Okay. Did not uh, add nothing to my. Fight. I did not add nothing to my fight today, but I'm sure what I've been adding, and it's very good. <clears throat> I've been adding these. They're really sweet. They're like a kiwi, but they're sweeter than a kiwi. A kiwi's like a sweet with a tart. And I've been adding these, which is the regular kiwis. And get my fruit and vegetables all in one. And I've been adding blackberries as well. I got some big old blackberries, but I can't, you know, eat too much seeds because I'm a diabetic That's so why I take this bite. Keep my diabetic glasses from acting up. So I've got to eat right with it. Let me put this stuff up. I done took my nutrients first. That's my five. I'm gonna put my almond milk up. I think I'm gonna have to buy some more almond milk, y'all. I really do. Excuse my hair, I've been exercising. It is hot. I'm a little late taking stuff because um, I had to take care of some business this morning on the phone. Y'all, this spice really does work. My diabetes likes it works for inflammation. It really does. <sighs> Whew. I know one of the other ladies that sell it as well told my niece that she takes it every day and it works with her inflammation too. <clears throat> this pre-menopause ain't no joke. It's hard to cool off. I'm about to pass out. All gone, y'all. I'll be on and off camera because I'll be trying to clean up. But and I forgot to cord this weekend when I went out to eat July the 4th for my birthday dinner. My birthday was June 28th, that Monday, this Monday before the 4th. <coughs> so I went out on the 4th at Outback Steakhouse. Never ate there before delicious I loved it and then I had um we had um let's see what did we do after that I went to Starbucks and we tried the aqua berry which you're gonna see it the aqua strawberry aqua berry lemonade it was good he didn't drop that this time like he did my dragon fruit and then um What the crap? I don't know what the hell this is. 
I'm sorry. And then um, after that, we went, see, I think, I want to say we went home. I don't think we did anything else but come, come to the house. I want to say we came to the house, yeah. Because when we got home, I forgot what we did when we got home. And then uh, my son had made it home from Nashville Shores, my young, oldest one. He went to Nashville Shores. So he had made it not too long after that. He made it home. So everybody had fun this weekend. I wish we would have went to Nashville Shores, but we're planning a family vacation. So hopefully we get to do that. I really hope so. Somewhere not too far for right now. Because next year he'll have a week off because he'll been in his job for a whole year and he's already hard in and everything. So, Because this is the job he's been wanting for ever since, I think, 2000, uh, 15, 16, 16, 2016, he'd been trying to get this job and he finally got it. All glory to God that he got it because that job was, is hard to get. Super hard to get. So, all glory to God that he was able to get it. I gotta wash the dishes. See, look at here. This just don't make no sense. <clears throat> Cooked yesterday. I did a loaded baked potatoes for the family. And, um, gotta wash dishes because everything is dirty now. Everything is dirty. <clears throat> and yesterday, somebody had opened up some, I don't know what it was, some, yeah, it's, it was some, uh, what do you call it, Teddy Grahams in a box, and it was in a, in a thing on the floor, and I'll be darned, I mean, darn, I'll be darned, I'll be darned if the freaking ants did not get on it, the freaking ants got on it. Can't wait till my whole stomach goes down. Like totally flat. I just cannot wait. A lot of this is went down because ooh, this was bigger than this. These need to go down. I don't like big titties. But it is what it is. I got them and <coughs> I guess I gotta live with them. Well, I guess I got to live with them. Okay. This TV's acting a little slow today, and I don't know why. Okay. Sometimes YouTube be acting up on my TV. I don't know why I be doing it. It's crazy. Okay. Let's see what Jimmy has to say about... Shocking news. Can't believe it. Four stimulus check update today, 2021. This was three hours ago. He does it at 8 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. He stopped doing the um, 11 p.m. 
that it's Jimmy is really good, child. I like watching him on here because he keeps everything. Keeps you up to date with everything. So. Yeah. And I got two other videos I got to upload. I forgot to upload them. Because today is what the 7th. Today is uh, Wednesday. And I forgot to upload the videos that we did uh, Sunday. I think it was Sunday. July 4th, so I got to upload them videos. This one will be on there before that one, but I got to upload them. And remember, T's Weight Loss Journey and More has been switched to Poke Royalty. So, my followers, please don't um, forget that. And remember, if you want to stay healthy, if you just want to stay healthy or you want to lose weight or gain weight and stay healthy at the same time while you're doing all that, don't forget to get with Charisma Aria on Facebook or Charisma underscore Aria <clears throat> on Instagram to get your Total Life Change Changes products like Nutriverse, Resolution Drops, Life Drops, Chaga, NRG. Uh, if you need Fife, Fife, um, and get Slim AM, Slim PM. You can get um, essential soaps, which is good for your skin. I love them. It's the only soap that don't itch me because I have very sensitive skin. And you can also, and also um, Matrix. It's an appetite curver. I'd be taking Matrix as well. It's an appetite curver. The chocolate one is good, but I prefer the vanilla. But the chocolate one is really good. It's like a chocolate brown. I try not to have too much chocolate because of my kidneys. So. The Delgado and Latin coffee is wonderful. It makes you lose weight just like the lasso tea if you can drink it every day, which I can't drink coffee every day. But I've been drinking too much here lately, so got to slack up on it. But um, the um, lasso tea, <coughs> I think they got lemon, raspberry, a regular. They got some with CBD in it. And it makes you lose, you lose five pounds in five days. As long as you ain't eating everything, you know you're doing right, you'll lose five pounds in five days. So that tea really does work. It really does. So, and sea moss, it really is good. It builds your immune system. It's good for other stuff. It helps me with my blood pressure. The sea moss does. It's good for sex drive too. And it also, uh, something else, um, I said Seymour helps me with. And the Harmony Drops, that's what uh, helped me get off my uh, Prevacid. Because Prevacid has steroids in it for my um, ulcer and acid reflux. My recurrent ulcer and acid reflux. And uh, Harmony Drops is really good. Then they got Melody Drops too. So don't forget. You want to stay healthy? Want to, or you want to gain weight, lose weight, and stay healthy at the same time as well? Hey, get your products. Charisma Aria on Facebook or Charisma underscore Aria on Instagram. Y'all, your health is important. It really is. And you, you, you don't take that much to exercise. You can walk around the house three or four times or up and down the driveway four times. You know, something like that. Hey, that's some exercise. You know. Or you got a long hallway like I got. From the hallway to the kitchen about five times or six, you know, just a look. Just need some exercise. <coughs> you need some kind of exercise. You need to stay healthy. This is for all ages. The only thing that the uh, men can't take is the, uh, well, I don't know if everything's for all ages. Let me put it, let me put it this way. It's for men and women. Children can take sea moss and Nutriverse. That's all I know that they can take. I had to ask my niece, can they take anything else? But I do know children can take the sea moss and the Nutriburst. But the men and women can take everything except for the men cannot take uh, Blossom Me. Blossom Me is for like our periods when we have trouble with the really bad cramping and all of the stuff. Blossom Me works good and that's for women only. But the other stuff is for men and women. You know, all of it. And um, there's men and women that do take this. But remember, children can take Nutriburst. That's all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients you need. And then men, I mean, um, children can take CMOS. 
them to they can take because I'm gonna start getting them for my one of my granddaughters has type 1 diabetes and I'm gonna start getting it for her so yes children can take Nutriburst and CMOS so please get with Charisma Aria on Facebook or Charisma underscore Aria on Instagram and get your products I, yes she will ship them yes she will she most likely will ship you samples too if you need samples all that stuff get with it get you a five-day sample or seven-day sample or two week samples you know get with that it really does work two week samples a 14-day sample five-day samples you can get seven days you need or two week samples you need to get it you'll see a difference it will make a difference now remember NRG burns calories it burns your calories and stuff like that and, and it also is a vitamin I think it's a vitamin or something like that keep gives you you know no yeah NRG burns burns calories throughout the day and it's um, gives your energy but I do know it's I think it's a vitamin too or something then um, uh, life drops or not life drops resolution drops is one and my fat go away so fat burner slim p.m. slim a.m. Slim AM, you take it, it burns fat throughout the day. Slim PM burns fat while you sleep at night, so. Or burns calories or whatever. It, it helps you to, helps you lose weight too. <clears throat> Matrix is an appetite curver. It's like a meal replacement, so it keeps you from wanting to eat throughout the day, you know. And if you do eat, it's best to eat either some fruit or salad, something like that, or some raw veggies, you know, just throughout the day. You know, keep it light. You know, just have a balanced breakfast that's not too heavy. And then have a dinner, you know, of the right portions of your, you know, meal you should have. And, hey, you're doing good. So don't forget. Get these products. I love them. You see that I am losing weight. I am really taking them. I'm not getting paid for this. Anything. This really does work. And I told my niece, I'm going to let people know. This stuff really does work. Because I have a lot of health problems. And I heard every day of my life. And this stuff really does help me. <clears throat> so. And then she also has this, what's like this stuff you rub in called Leviate. I think it's Leviate. And it's good for pain. So, and joints, like your joint pain or just muscle pain or pain. Just rub it where you hurt. And it, it does help. So. And then there's Chaga Gaino. Um, that stuff is really good. What else? There's Chaga Gaino. Gino. I think it's Gino. Gaino or Gino, however you pronounce it. Chaga NRG. Oh, there's this stuff called. It's something else. I forgot the name of. I'm gonna try to get the name of all the products before you tell you what they are. But please get with Charisma Aria on Facebook. They really do work. But, yeah, these children's money going to come out on the 15th of July. Then they also give in um, discounts on, I think, your internet bills and stuff. You just got to see if you qualify for it. So, then you get a one-time discount up to $100 for a laptop, tablet, or desktop computer with a co-payment of more than $10, but less than $50. Up to $75 a month discount on your household is qualified. It says apply for the Mercy Van benefits. Check if see if you qualify. Apply now. Emergency Van benefit. Emergency, emergency broadband benefit. I'm gonna have to check that out. Emergency broadband benefit. But you gotta have all your information there for your system. Get that. So, I love my keyboard cover. This one's a pretty easy one. A lot of people they say they sign up and they get approved like right then and there or that day. I understand not every. Let's see, because uh, they charging me so much money on my internet. <laughs> that crap is crazy. I didn't have to be acting so funny. Specialist. Iffy. 
They want to charge you $79.99 a month. And I mean, when I say if Spectrum is if be like, you know, the child tax credits, I don't approve them. If you don't have children, I get it. It sucks. But there is 65 million people it's going to help. Just like, um, you know, the talk about Social Security increases. Okay, he said he don't approve of it. Not a senior. You don't qualify for those. But, I get it. It sucks. Mm-hmm. But I'm trying to help yeah. as many people as I can. Okay. You know, I, there's people who don't even qualify for the third or fourth stimulus checks, okay? So I get it. But I'm still trying to help as many people as I can. So yeah. I'm trying to bring you guys all these Yeah, go watch It's Jimmy or Chalet on YouTube. They're about the only two that I really like watching that really tells you the truth about what's going on with the uh, stimulus and the infrastructure package and all this stuff. Okay, next up, the bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus bill, or Problem Solvers Caucus group, I should say, um, is calling for a vote. They're calling for the House and the Senate to vote on the physical infrastructure package, the uh, part one of the two parts of this. Uh, Bipartisan this Problem Solvers Caucus <clears throat> back Senate, Senate infrastructure, infrastructure deal calling for House vote. has 58 members in it. Remember, they need 60 people to say yes. So they need 60 people to say yes. People to say yes here. So um, they already have 58 people. That are going to just a waiting game. They're they're game. They need to do that two thousand down, thousand dollars a month, and a thousand dollars a year after, the like Jaya Pell um, has uh, proposed, because these crazy Republicans are cutting off, and the Republican states cutting people's three hundred dollars stimulus on the unemployment off, and that's really going to hurt people, especially people who can't get a job. And then when these people are making <clears throat> nine dollars or ten dollars an hour, and bills cost way more than what they what they're making, you know they start losing stuff, start going homeless, start getting hungry, having to rob Peter to pay Paul, and that's not good. As you can see here, the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus strongly supports it's the really Senate infrastructure framework. It's like the Republicans don't care about nobody but their sales by doing that. That's wrong. In light of bipartisan I feel like being fair and equal, I feel everything should be fair and equal we encourage an expeditious to help everyone. vote in the House and thank our bipartisan Senate partners and the Biden yep. administration it's not up to me, that's just my opinion. But God always has the last say, and he'll take care of his people. Okay, Emercy, E-M-E-R, Emercy, Emercy Broadband, let's see. I'm gonna show it with making sure that parts <clears throat> emergency is broadband program. They're gonna pass it with just the Democrats anyways. They're gonna pass it without the Republicans. So all we really need to do is negotiate amongst the Democrats anyways. So the Republicans are probably all gonna vote no, just like the third stimulus check package. So as long as all the Democrats vote yes. And you gotta make sure this is the Mercy Broadband program on the www.abuddies. Bold blue letters. I'm gonna put your information out there on the internet. Senator Joe Manchin already said that he is going to go yes on this. Okay, www.fcc.gov slash broadband benefits. I'll link you to the video at the end of this. I showed it a few days ago. I showed Joe Manchin's actual interview where he said yes, he will vote yes on this next package. Federal Communications Commission. Both apply for the package. program and contact a participating one provider to select a single um, plan. But I do think that uh, maybe half of them or so will make it um, to this next package. Um, but you, these are all the things that are currently being considered to be in this next package. I do think the large majority of these will make it to this next package. Of course, the course stimulus check is one of the large items being included or being considered. Uh, as you know, there's over.
over a hundred different Democrats that have uh, signed public letters. This guy should go to mercybroadband.org to apply for this. For, for I personally think they're really and you're about, and I'm I about to leave the FCC website. Are going to back down and not um, have a core stimulus check included in there, which is why I think they're definitely so, going to be at the bare minimum. At least I have not left the website yet. There. We have multiple different uh, social security raise proposals. Okay, you do. And, and Medicare expansion proposal. Okay. Uh, Universal Service Administrator Company. Get emergency broadband.org. Get emergency broadband.org. Um, lowering <laughs> Medicare eligibility age to age 60 or age 50. Chicken will qualify. Your household fits into any category. Apply for, for emergency broadband. Benefit. How you want to apply go, uh, necessary documents search tool. It's gonna ask you for your account number and all that stuff and your name and stuff for Hi, I'm Bozma St. John and I'm a Chief Marketing Officer at Netflix and LA is my home. So for your which palette. Well, she's the Chief Marketing Officer for Netflix. Uh, look here. She's the Chief Networking Working whatever for Netflix. And she has uh, a pen or something, whatever that's called. I think it's a Maserati. Or is that a Porsche? Oh no, it's a Porsche or Maserati she owns. We're here on Fairfax, a little slice of Africa, right here. There's some Ethiopian food that I'm so excited about. I've been in LA for about seven years, and um, this is one of the first places where I came because I love Ethiopian food. You know, lots of spices that taste like this. I experienced this on the planet. That is the head chef and the founder of the restaurant. Okay. You can feel Africa in her food. It's not just the spices, it's the Okay, what is your legal name? S4. Nice It is hard to find, but that's why I found this one on business. What do I Hopefully, I agree. Then it asks for your date of birth. Why? Well, I don't know. Because the details really matter. But it does. Identify your verification, okay, so security number, or tribal number, I guess if you're able to do a tribal number, so do a security number. And I love the fact that women can gather there safely and share their stories and have an audience who would hear them. Uh, that's for this, okay, that's what I was saying. Okay, I'm going to Okay. Today reminded me of all the places that I really love about LA. And even though it's home and there's so many familiar places that I like to go to, it reminds me that there's so much I have yet to discover in the city. So, Lisa Tesh. A scan copy 
a picture of your form of ID files must be. Okay, we're not gonna do that. So, what is your home address? Basically, it's just normal. It's easy to fill out for the Mercy Broadband thing I just noticed. So. my phone in a minute because I've got my information on my phone. It's just basic information. I think in it asks for you. I want to say ask for your account number to your um, internet service most likely. Do you qualify for Lifeline or Mercy Broadband through your child or a dependent. Yes, I call for my child or dependent. Broadband. Uh, translation, Democrats won't reach across party lines to pass an infrastructure bill unless they also pass the next spending bill, aka the next stimulus package with no Republican support. Uh, but this may kill the deal. So uh, we're going to have a, a little bit of contention here over the next few days where the Republicans okay. aren't very happy that Nancy Pelosi is going to be. The Democrats aren't very happy that. Uh, that one, the Democrats are making a lower deal than Republicans over the okay. next infrastructure package. Mm. And uh, yeah, what that some name? people are saying that President Biden may have to jump in here in the middle and be a uh, yeah. referee between hey. the two parties. Hey. In fact, yeah. here's what the leader of the Republicans, the Senate Minority Leader, Mitch McConnell, would help if I was on the thing. Okay, now. Password must be at least eight characters long, at least one uppercase and lowercase letter. At least one special character. Okay, let's see. Oh, hit. Well, that ant don't smell like no piss ant. I like to know where this ant came from on my paper. It's weird, the ant was right here on this paper. It was nowhere but right there. And this kind of goes along oh, with Jesus. the other uh, Republican governor I showed on the show, what was that yesterday, the uh, Republican governor of Arkansas, who said that he hopes that the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan, uh, he hopes that gets defeated. He hopes that the bipartisan physical infrastructure package passes, the lower one that, that uh, Republicans are okay. going to. 
Get me a nice little password. I cut out these weird passwords. So it'd be hard for somebody to hack them. Because my son's like, why y'all give me weird passwords? Oh, well, duh. So nobody can hack it. The package was bloated itself, and then they didn't just didn't go for it just because it was bloated. But remember, we also had Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was the Majority Leader. Now he's the Minority Leader who blocked that standalone bill for the fourteen hundred dollars, the cash act. Okay, and ask for your president email Trump, well, after that. Uh, we have President Trump when he was president. Um, when he wanted to make those six hundred dollar checks. And what is your phone number? And he said these six hundred dollar checks are way too small. This was actually after the election. He said they should be two thousand dollars. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said, "Okay, great." They passed it in the House. They had bipartisan support, okay. Republicans and the Democrats. Then they sent it to the Senate, and there was enough. Um, Republican votes. I remember counting. I said, "This is going to pass." I said, "We're going to get the six hundred dollars, and we're going to get fourteen hundred dollars." We're going to get it like a week later. And I go, "This is going to be awesome." Our records show that we already exist in our system. Please go to customer login. Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> well. Ultimately, I think that ended up costing him. Uh, and I don't have to go to the question mark. It's not letting me go to the question mark. A week later, they had that Georgia runoff races where they had those two Senate seats. Okay, uh, TJ Pope. Um, uh, overtime election, and Democrats won both of those to tie the Senate. The Democrats took over the Senate. Not less than a week later, when Mitch McConnell didn't even let the Senate vote on that bill. Okay. 
as well as we begin oh, with your time, we'll hear from Mitch McConnell with some surprising words that I was actually not expecting from him regarding the oh. infrastructure and the next stimulus package. we got a lot to cover here, so let's jump right in. First, the White House is not really too happy about the Delta variant, as we are seeing rising cases a in a lot of areas across the United States because of the Delta variant, which is a more contagious uh, variant of the virus and more deadly. Mm -hmm. And the United States has missed its most recent vaccination goal. Here is President oh, yeah. Biden. Today's they have a Delta variant. We discussed how our administration is going to devote the remainder of the summer to a special focus on five ways to make gains of getting those of you who are unvaccinated vaccinated. Because here's the deal we are continuing to wind down the mass vaccination sites that did okay. so much in the spring to rapidly vaccinate those eager to get their first shot and their second shot. Now we need to go to community by community, neighborhood by neighborhood, okay. and all the time, door to door, literally knocking on doors, to get help for the remaining people protected from the virus. Next up, we will have several updates from White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who gave a pretty urgent press briefing regarding yeah. the Build Back Better plan, which is really part one and part they two of the known. physical infrastructure package which are really entering the final stages right now of the negotiations over that, part one, and part two, the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan. The final details of how they're going to put all this together and pass this year, and it's what okay, is going Jane. to be in these next two okay, packages. As you will know, as far as the physical challenge, we're still late in the night, which is located in the district of Congress, and we have to do it. Therefore, visit Henry County College, a community college that is over 1440. If I type stuff in right, I can do it. Okay, now I forgot my password and username, so I'm having to do everything. Like, I'm having to do everything. I remember searching to see if I qualified, but I don't remember setting up a username and stuff, so I guess I did. You're going to be hearing a lot about these Okay, then they sent an email to my phone because I'm not logged into the email on here. Oh, my tablet, I'm not, my email on my tablet is different, I mean my laptop is different, and the email on my tablet is different, different too, so. Part one I have is the this physical infrastructure package, which email of course has dozens of their own items as well, mostly roads, bridges, physical okay. infrastructure. There could be some stimulus items in there, like broadband, they internet credits, they uh, a couple different things like it's that. Not been uh, sent. That could end up being in, um, it's in package that, uh, number one, uh, but mostly physical infrastructure in package number one. But there's dozens of things in there as well, so it kind of shows you how many things go into these bills. But this, I mean, um, I got rid of all this junk mail early, it's sad. And we're, they're going to be negotiating over all these different things, back what again. could be or what might make it into this next package. Um, I expect that a lot of these different items will go into this next package. Yet. So this is kind of going to be the interesting part here of what we're going to see makes it into this next package. Okay, here this possible for stimulus checks, possible monthly recurring stimulus checks that is separate than the child and tax credits which are monthly recurring Okay, tax click here to research your past like of 250 to 300 per month that are okay. going to go out to about 36 million households or about 30, uh, 65 million children 
but those are only passed for one year. They're looking to extend that until 2025 or even permanently. A lot of okay, Democrats say this, is this my will strength. be a deciding great factor for the Democratic Party if they're so. able to uh, extend this until 2025. It will take over 50 percent of all children in the United Hopefully States out Good. of childhood poverty. There's three different proposals for social security raises as well as Medicare expansion, which would well, add... Well, they might well just uh, go ahead and raise Social Security over everybody who's getting 700 should be getting at least 1,200. And everybody who's already getting 1,000 or something should get, you know, just 200 added to that, which ought to be 1,400. ...do not currently have, as well as lowering the Medicare eligibility age to age 60 or as low as age 55. They're also talking about additional schooling, two years of free community college, and preschool to be included in this next package. Any of these additional items here are not necessarily yeses or okay. not necessarily no. Finally. There is not a single item on this list that is 100% yes or 100% no. Any so the password is reset. Or get the green check mark here and will be decided within okay. the next few coming now days. Now I can go on my and laptop and reset it. it. It's actually going to be a very redo it. Time. Okay. Because uh, this is really where we're going to see all the help come down, and it's going to be, hey, yes, we're going to get items number 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 14, and 20. Just as an example or no, we're going to get number 2, 5, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Yeah, it's okay. literally going to be something like that as they determine which ones are going to be in this package and which ones will be added into or will be pushed well, off into the next time. package. As, yes, there will be another package in about two and a half months. Democrats get a whole other set see if of I reconciliation qualify. cards where they can pass more okay. packages through the reconciliation process. Start uh, lifeline application. Support, and they'll have to use those. You either have to create an account if you don't have an account. If you have an account, you just sign in. Um, they can still pass bills okay, lifeline application. Like the, uh, physical infrastructure package. Expires, okay. Application was created in May. It expires in August. Uh, we'll see Next, let me give you an update from the White House regarding the new hack. From so, the I qualify. The hacked, uh, it's going to go away. A new IT company that has hacked a thousand different companies. Yeah, this is a bad one. And they're requesting $70 million in grants. Okay, it says I have an active lifeline application. Hey, I'm still paying $79. Okay, I'm paying $79. That means I should be paying, what, $30 a month? Who to contact? It's, it's not doing anything. So I'm going to take a picture of this number and call them because this is crazy. It's not getting me. It's just saying I got an application. It uh, expires in August, so what's the use trying to do if it expires? So. August and it's not even taking off anything. I'm still paying $79 a month for that crappy internet service through Spectrum. When I tell you they go out on any little thing, it can rain, it, the wind can blow, it acts up. But it says I'm qualified, got an application, already in, but that's it. That's all I'll let me do. I'm trying to see what let me do anything else. You have an active lifeline application. Snap, supplement, uh, uh, your income, bureau, Indian affairs, all that stuff. Let me just tell you, you're going to go see it. 
Whatever. That's all I can do. There's nothing else I can do since I get applications. So. two different numbers too. Like it's crazy. And then it doesn't give you an option to uh, log out either. So, I don't even know how to log out. They won't even let me go back out. Like, I'm hitting the back button, and it's still a little bit. Oh, this shit, this crap is crazy. Oh, wow. Oh. I'm done. It's crazy. It says that I already have application for May the 25th, 2021, and August the something, 2021, it expires. And I'm still paying $79.99 for my internet through Spectrum. Still paying for that crappy internet. So, it is what it is. Okay. This thing usually tells me what my payoff is, and it's not telling me. What my payoff is total text is. So yeah, as you can see, uh, there, there's a lot going on with our country right now. These are really just a couple of the issues uh, regarding the taxes. I love that in there because that's you know the core of what we talk about on our show here. Um, the taxes so that, I uh, get this. Tax hikes of a lot of Republicans right now. Um, in fact, probably so, all okay. Republicans in Congress. So same day, I'll say, one or three days, same as cash, uh, five, fifty nine. Okay. They're, uh, they're just against corporate tax raises. Uh, Democrats want to raise. You pay twenty four dollars a week. They say that a lot of these large corporations. Um, the famous it's example like is Amazon made eleven point two billion dollars one year and paid zero dollars in taxes last year in twenty twenty. There was, uh, or 55 of the top it's like, I write stuff down and I cannot find myself. Like, my real estate information, I think I've done lost it too. There's a lot of stuff I've been looking for and I cannot find it. Like, I put stuff on my phone, this is like stuff that's being deleted off my phone. And I don't understand why. I really don't. Tax rates at all. I don't know if it's because my iCloud's full. Oh, boy. But I just sit right here constantly. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Package. That's what pays for so I can see both sides of the story. Um, it is, it's, a tough, it's a tough position to take because... You can, I can make, I I can honestly make an argument for either side. I can make an argument for the Republican side there and say, yeah, 
Um, you know, taxing corporations does take money out of their pocket, and that leaves less that. money for them to create more jobs. But then I could uh, make an argument for the Democratic side there and say, yeah, but if you give money for more stimulus packages, this is crazy. that puts more money in people's pockets, and uh, more money for infrastructure, which creates more jobs, because they have to pay people to create the infrastructure. You I'm know, just it's, it's a tough situation. Yeah, There's not probably a right or wrong answer. I mean, I guess it really depends on what side of the point you're looking at. It. If you look at something from a purely Democratic side everybody. or a purely Republican side, that's why I try not to look at things that way. I try to look at things um, from both sides of the point. You know, it, it's, it's a difficult decision. Regarding the hacks, yeah, I mean, I think that this is going to probably lead to a bigger issue. President Biden right now is taking a lot of criticism on this. I've been lost. I don't know, I'll be losing stuff. Uh, just like a week or two ago. And, uh, you know, there, there were headlines saying that he, was, he had a stern talk with President Putin. And uh, over, over the recent hats, and then now, <clears throat> lose it everything. again, from this Russian re evil group. And, uh, you know, now it's affected over a thousand companies, and he just had this stern talk with the Russian president. And now the, the biggest hack happened just again, like a week later. And uh, what's he gonna do? And I mean, I don't think we want to have World War Three, okay. but I mean, you gotta do something. So what, what mm. do you do? Let me back. Let me know okay, your thoughts. In. What would you do if you were president? Uh, would you have World War Three? Would you send? And I hit sign in. Do, right? it's, so it's like it, it don't make sense. Uh, <laughs> let me know what you would do because I guess we're gonna see here. Oh, guess what? Uh, and this is where it's uh, already been saved to my phone. Hallelujah. Being president because. Um, do you lead up the steps up to that? Do you do sanctions against the, the country? President Putin is not cooperating at all. Let's put okay. it that way. We'll have to see if he's coaxed into cooperating. At this point, I don't see him giving over the, the Russian hacker group. For all we know, they could be working for him. They could be a Russian hacker group that's working for him uh, from under see. his uh, command. You know, he could be telling them what to do. Um, they could be working, you know, hand in hand with them for all we know. Let me know your thoughts on okay. this. Uh, I personally think Early purchase price is 526 dollars 53 I mean, each one of these hacks is to start for and it happens again and again and again. It seems to be happening every week or two. And uh, it gets bigger and bigger scale and you're going to get more and more money. I, I, I don't know where it goes from here. Early purchase price of $1,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000,
what if they don't want me to log in? It's just crazy how this stuff is. And that is... I don't know why my phone's been acting crazy. My husband's phone's been acting crazy. I just don't understand. It's crazy. It's crazy. Go to sign in. And my login fails. How in the hell does your login fail? Well, maybe if I spell it right, it, it won't fail. <laughs> Guess I accidentally hit a Oh my god, like seriously, for real. I don't even understand why in the heck. Oh my freaking doggone God. I'm sitting here telling you that I have to forget my password. Oh, my password has appeared in a data leak which puts this account at high risk of compromise. You should change your password immediately. Oh my God. Now how in the heck why would somebody want to compromise my password? Okay, he just keeps telling me to. Okay, delete password. Security risk five below dot com. Delete compromised password. Yes, delete. I don't understand this, it's crazy.
I hope the band passes by this. Like, what the word? Change your password. It won't even let me change my password, so I don't. This is crazy. <clears throat> I don't even shop at Five Below online, and it's telling me that somebody compromised my password who changed my password online. And it's not um, giving me a choice to change it, so I don't know. So I'm just gonna delete the password. I know somebody compromised. Some passwords on um, what's his phone. Okay. Trying to get into my. No, will not let me. Oh my God! It's just will not let me do nothing. Okay. There we go. Retrieve username. Send my username. Yes, and we set up on the Okay. This is crazy. This is crazy how I'm having to, how a, a password got compromised on something I don't even use. Like, I don't even use Fire Below Online. I just set it up to look and see what they had. And it's saying that my password has been compromised. This is crazy, man. So crazy. Then I'm trying to get to reset my password. Whew. Let me do anything. 
Oh, freaking darn. just want to see. Oof. I get so irritable and I give up. It makes me so mad because it's like I need to hate this something get compromised. Then it's saying the login failed. Okay, forget username or password. Okay, my username is my email. Okay, when you ask for it to send a verification, I don't know if it sent it to Denise's phone or what. Send verification code. Okay, it was sent to Denise's phone. That's what it was, and that's why I was not getting it because it was sending a verification code to Denise's phone. I'm sitting here trying to get it to send something. I don't know. This is crazy. It's just not sending it. Unless it's sent it to my junk mail. Y'all, it just don't make no sense. Like, you can't get nothing done. I just don't understand how somebody tried to compromise my password. On five below, and it affected another thing I was trying to log in that has nothing to do with five below. So I don't understand. Oh, my God. Still not seeing it, so I don't know what's going on. Did not see it. talking to God like he's right here because this makes me mad. They claim they didn't send a verification code to my email but here we go. Finally it came in. Okay here it is. Finally yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, excuse me, yeah. Finally, 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 finally. Okay. And this one ain't even matching. It's good I open it up. Okay. Let's see. Now we're returning to the login. So somebody is trying to compromise stuff. So this means somebody has probably been looking on my saved passwords like to my phones like I don't understand it how in the heck or why in the heck would somebody want to do that like So, so, so. So, really, this is crazy. It just don't make no sense, huh? Compromised my password. That's okay, that's okay. We get it. Got everything back. Everything's good. But y'all better watch because these people are some serious out here. These people are some serious out here. They ain't playing. Compromising people's passwords on something you ain't even using. Like doggone five below. So they're trying to get people's information on their debit cards and stuff most likely, but hey. They can't get nothing online because I don't I don't buy stuff offline on five below. So that is just crazy. That is Super crazy. That is just super crazy. I just don't get it. That's that's all good. It's all good. Cause 
they ain't getting nothing from me. Nothing, nothing, nothing from me. Because I ain't giving them nothing. I ain't leaving nothing on that much you get. That is crazy though. That is crazy. It's like it don't make no sense. Well, yeah, I know I've been bored, but this is crazy how somebody co would compromise your your password. You won't think that, you know, your stuff is going to get compromised, but it does. i got to comb my hair. It's going to dry it. But it's just crazy. I don't even use Five Below Online. And then what makes it so weird when it's compromised it's showing a list of stuff that may be compromised. So now I see why I had to reset one of my son's passwords. And that was for something important. Because it's showing a list of stuff that was compromised. Even one of my husband's password things. And that was very important. It was compromised. So. It's showing a list of possible, possible compromises. So I see that they own so most of these hackers are. But I got it taken care of. I do. I got it. I got it taken care of. I really do. I see two things on my thing was hacked, not just five below. And the other things are coming. I'm trying to be compromised too. So keep these in my purse. And I'm good. These folks think they smart. Trying to come put stuff in compromise. I'm sorry for being so boring, but I wanted to try to walk you through this thing, you know, and I was telling you about that Mercy Broadband thing. So, hopefully to help people get it, get off on the internet, because it ain't did nothing with mine. And I qualified, and I'm still paying $79.99 for Spectrum. So, it's what it is. Okay, thank y'all. See you later. Peace. Have a blessed day. Be blessed. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. T's Weight Loss Journey or More with the Pope family. The new name is Pope Royalty. Love y'all.